From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Morning Edition. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It is Wednesday, January 24th. So let's get it started. Very lucky, and she's probably got a little bit of a uh, little bit of grit and toughness just to be able to stick it out. Spirit of survival in a Bay Area hero story: a woman alive and a community of rescuers in the rain. I would rather give him a fighting chance than to just sit back and watch things happen. Parents and the partnership of doctors and nurses at a Bay Area hospital working to give a child a chance at life. This is a fantastic state. This is a great, great state. Donald Trump's campaign getting new life in New Hampshire. Even President Joe Biden telling supporters it's clear it's going to be a Biden-Trump matchup for the highest office in the land. We're live from the Granite State as Trump's challenger Nikki Haley hangs in there. It was nuggets and nuggets and nuggets. The guy said this was the biggest order he's ever had. And is it a case of nugget negligence or a hunger haul? The DoorDash delivery begging the question, the mountain of food, a mistake? <laughs> a mistake indeed. Good morning, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan. And I'm Gianna Franco. Is it a mistake? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't one of the chains bringing back the strawberry pie? Weren't you telling yes, me that? Yes, that was on the news too. <laughs> oh was our goodness. newscast? But yes, McDonald's. You get a lot of love this morning. When McDonald's. is this happening? Do we know? <laughs> Is the strawberry pie like a pocket pie? It's like the you... apple pie. Yeah, okay. very similar. Oh. Yeah, very similar. I don't shop there often. I mean, I do. Mm. I'm in the drive-through for Kelsey, mm -hmm. like probably once a week. <laughs> yeah, it's like the parent default. It's like cartoons on the iPad, right? Nuggets, fries, yep. and the toy. Oh, don't mm. sleep on McDonald's coffee. Oh. I mean, and it's like a, a fuck. Over yeah. The other okay. Yes, and it's actually Starbucks. good. Right. Who knew? So. Well, why don't we take a live look outside on this Wednesday morning? And this is the view from our Mark Hopkins cam. It is a rainy Wednesday. You can't quite see it here, but Jessica, as we send things over to you, you have the full map to show us all the damage that could be done today. Absolutely. Well, there is a lot of active weather this morning for that morning commute that Gianna and I are going to break apart coming up right now, actually. But here's some good news. The rain's going to taper off heading into this afternoon, and it's going to look a lot different into the evening hours tonight. But we are starting off this morning with 50s throughout the Santa Clara Valley, all the way off into Livermore and Fremont, too, just a little bit more north. And as we take a live look right now down near San Jose throughout the Santa Clara Valley, those clouds are hanging relatively high. It's actually dry there right now. I'll show you that on our first Lord Dawson in just a second, but for our friends near San Francisco, stretching up into Mill Valley, Nevada, all the way up into Petaluma, it looks a lot different right now. It is an active morning with rain widespread throughout the Bay Area as the storm really starts to build its way in. Now, see all that yellow right there? That's a cluster of single cell storms that are starting to combine together, and we've actually seen a little bit of lightning activity just offshore from that exact storm. We are keeping a close eye on that as it moves its way inland. Now, let's zoom in a little bit closer to home. Light rain right now for our friends near Petaluma and Santa Rosa stretching along that highway closer to Mill Valley. Heavier rain falling as the system tracks off into the east. Areas like Orinda about to get hit with some heavier rain within the next 15 minutes or so. That exact same storm is impacting our friends commuting across the Golden Gate Bridge from Sausalito down into San Francisco with pockets of heavy rain close to the Presidio right now. As we head all throughout the East Bay, Hayward down into Fremont. It's a lot more dry, but this is going to look a lot different for us as we head into the next couple hours. Same trend all the way into the Santa Clara Valley. I'm going to time this up for you or time this out for you coming up in just a bit. Gianna. All right, just thank you. Let's talk about the freeways right now. And you do have those slick surfaces to contend with this morning. But look at the backup at the Bay Bridge. It's not terrible just yet. Those metering lights were turned on just about 30 minutes ago, and it is getting just a little bit slow. But I will keep a close eye on that. No major accidents or incidents right now. It's still a bit early, but that westbound 80 drive out of Vallejo, Richmond, all the way into Berkeley, getting to the Bay Bridge, that is a little bit slow this morning. So plan for that. Plan for some brake lights as you head uh, into the Altamont, into Livermore, and getting a little bit busy out of the South Bay. Well, the Warriors will be back in action today after the tragic passing of assistant coach Dayan Milojevic. The team will be hosting the Atlanta Hawks. Now, the Warriors will be playing with heavy hearts without their beloved coach, but Milojevic will still have a presence on the team for the rest of the season. The Dubs plan to wear this DM patch on their jerseys in honor of their late assistant coach. It's been one year since the Half Moon Bay mass shooting that left seven farm workers dead and another wounded. Yesterday, the community gathered to remember the lives of loved ones taken that day. We spoke with the one man that survived, Pedro Felix Romero Perez, and he spoke about losing his brother Jose in the attack.
es lo que me duele mucho. Pedro was with his brother when he was killed. He said Jose was a good person who often gave him advice. Pedro was also shot during the rampage and is still recovering. Reed? Well, something happened overnight that all but cements Donald Trump as the nominee for the Republican Party's work to reclaim the White House. The former president, mired in lawsuits and investigations, scored his second resounding win last night. He took the New Hampshire Republican primary handily. Now, while he won, Nikki Haley, who used to work in the Trump administration, came in second and is vowing this morning to stay in the race. Before the final results came in, our CBS team held some exit polling that showed Trump voters felt Mr. Trump is more conservative than Haley. Here's what some told our crews on the campaign trail. I voted for Trump. Um, I, he was great for the economy. I voted for Nikki Haley. I'm afraid Trump is just too much chaos. Well, this morning, President Joe Biden even signaling to his supporters and donors that it's clear to him the matchup for the presidency will be between himself and Donald Trump. But we'll have a live report on the primary coming up in the next half hour. Let's look live at Oakland this morning, where we know so many of you are bridge builders working to change the narrative about your hometown. In and out closing due to crime, an officer killed in the streets. The calls for safer streets really showing a story of people in Oakland pushing for better. And your community station seeing and celebrating people who are stepping forward to use their lives in their sphere of influence to make that very thing happen. Yeah, and one of the many people stepping forward, Oakland-based rapper Mr. Fab. He's using his birthday to get others to give back to Oakland this week. Our Sean Chitness is here. Good morning to you once again. And you spoke with him about this celebration, and he really relies on the entire community to help make this happen. Yeah, it takes everyone to make this week a success, and it is happening at a time when Oakland could really use it. This is the third year of Fab Week, the week of Mr. Fab's birthday, which, by the way, was yesterday. But they're just getting started with a total of seven nights of bringing people together in Oakland. They'll also get together here in San Francisco. And we learned that no job is too small for those closest to him to make sure the whole week is a success and allows them to give back to the community. An icon of the Bay Area, Mr. Fab has made it his mission to use his platform to help his hometown every chance he gets. Oakland gets a bad rap, uh, and 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 I'm not going to get up here and and be naive or, or or act like I'm in 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 the red of not knowing of what's going on in a gray area. And Fab Week is that chance to boost local businesses, give neighbors a way to come together, and highlight entertainment from around the Bay. Yeah, it's a lot Fab Week. But every year I'm ready for it. One woman making sure it's a success each night is his sister, Teresa Anderson. I think it's awesome that he takes the time out a whole week on his birthday week to celebrate with others and to give back like that. Teresa sells tickets, greeting people at the door, and helps to run the show behind the scenes, making sure everyone gets a seat all while having pride for her younger brother. I cried the first day, I think, because it was so lifelike. It was so real. It um, depicted him all the way down to the gray hairs in his beard. Just this week, they celebrated a new mural in Oakland, honoring his contributions to their community. Look what the, a native son is being able to experience and receive the roses while he's still alive, which is uh, uh, previously unheard of. I knew when he was younger, I told him he would be great. I told him you'll do great things, brother, and always remain humble. But I didn't think it was going to be like this. This is just like I cry sometimes and I tell him I'm so proud of him. And at 42, Fab says he's just getting started and still has many dreams he's pursuing. I have this thing I say to him when I'm really, really proud. Hey, proud sister moment. Yeah, I'm still feeling me. Not none of them. Shanti and my mama is one of them. Moments he promises to keep giving her and his community as he looks ahead to another year serving Oakland and beyond. So Fab Week has an event every night. You can get more information on his social media accounts to figure out what is happening tonight and for the rest of the week. Also worth pointing out, 42, that's his Jackie Robinson year. So he wants to point <laughs> out that, hey, there's a lot to look forward to. So what are some of the things that are actually that he's actually doing this week that's directly affecting the community? Yeah, so I think he wants to emphasize that first, just giving people the chance to get together when they haven't had that and to have an event to go to is a big thing, to have those businesses 
get people coming in is another thing. But with some of these events, you know, it's it's offering uh, black designers a chance to have their work showcased, nice. which otherwise wouldn't right. be seen. So there's so many layers to what happens in this week. Seeing a problem in a community and stepping forward. I love using his life to make things yeah. better. Very cool. Well, coming up at 8 on Pix Plus 44 Cable 12, Mr. Fab's actually going to join us live to tell us more about the week-long work to turn a birthday into community service. Thank you, Sean, for that.